What is happening, people? It <laughs> what is happening, people? It is Brian Alls never say dot com and Kona. Bye, Kona. Mm -hmm. So today's video is actually some leftover footage from the <laughs> Every time. Every time, man. So today's video is just some leftover footage from the last comeback video where we did a little bit of grip training. I may or may not have slapped Nick in the butt really, really hard. Like to the point that I actually felt bad about it. Which did not last long because then about two hours later he sent me a picture of his butt with my handprint on it and it is epically awesome. So then I didn't feel bad about that at all. And then uh, the entire reason for this video in reality is at the end of the day, Andy Chanel is explaining some grip training stuff and then he goes into a story about his time back in Colorado, Brian Shaw and their lifting crew back there. And uh, it is absolutely a super touching thing. And just showing you guys what is built in situations like this. Guys, I, I say it every single video, but I can't encourage you guys enough to find some good people to train with. For me personally, my entire gym is my crew. I absolutely love every single person there. Every single person there adds to my training somehow. Um, pretty much all these comeback things are just kind of a buffer because when you're the owner of a gym There's a lot of new people who want to come in during open gym and just meet you and talk to you or a lot of people have questions And when you're the head coach, it's tough to get your workout in without somebody coming up and actually saying Asking you a question about some of their lifting or just want to talk or whatever. So um, What this is for me a lot of times we're doing it off Hours and away and these guys kind of create a buffer on me so that I'm able to just focus on my training while I come for this comeback um, And I couldn't be more thankful for it. So it's just really really cool guys I could not encourage you guys enough to just find either an amazing gym with just terrific people Or find a couple people inside that gym that you get along really well with you guys don't need to do the same workout program You guys just need to have the same mentality of working hard and getting after it and being good people and being generous to each other And being loyal and consistent all those things are gonna get you guys so far in this game so much further than you'd ever think you would have been able to get and uh it really is that simple but guys i'm going to show you guys the rest of that footage and stick around the the grip training stuff is kind of cool there's some challenges there and then uh you had to see me hit nick because that that was epic and then uh the andy speech is probably uh one of my favorite things that i've heard in a long time so uh definitely hang around for that guys i will catch up with you later in the week but until i do go out do something amazing with lives keep working hard be nice to each other and just go ahead and watch a video. I'll see you guys when I see you. So now, I can definitely do that. Here we go. Nope. Nope. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'm just trying to pick that thing up first. <laughs> I thought you definitely could. I, could definitely, I definitely can. I definitely got this. Yeah, that I can Easy. definitely pick up. Yeah, Easy. that's yeah. a joke. As soon as I go for pressure, like I feel it. Yeah. Like, my hands like you dumb. My grip is never. Uh, it's never cross grip. Cross grip, I'm good at. Like from here to here, I am super strong. Like don't drop anything. From here to here, I am not a lobster. It doesn't go well for me, and I drop those things a lot. However, if you have monster hands, like this big ginger dude right here, if your hands look like that, you can pick lots of things up. No, it's not. Yeah, here, check this out, bro. Look. That's all look pretty easy. I'm just saying it looks pretty easy. I got this. Captain, I got this over here. <laughs> that one? No, this one. <laughs> yeah, that one I know. I can pick that one up too. This one, I can't pick that one up. This one's a little sweaty. It's a little sweaty? It was in the car. I definitely cannot pick that up. <laughs> I got this. I got it. It's good. You guys are just chalk. You guys are talking. cheating. Cheater sauce. Cheaters never win, Nick. Yeah, they, do. they win a lot. <laughs> whoever came up with that, whoever came up with that definitely no, wasn't thinking about it. This is like heaven right here. Like, oh, that's what you call it. This oh! I feel a little bit bad about that one. That was Not really square. I'm, I'm Charlie Horse. <laughs> that was a good noise. Ah, oh, 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 you know it. Uh, Apparently, if you smack someone in the butt, you can lift more weight in your hand. I bet you have a terrific looking Brian handprint on your butt. 
Stop! So this is half of a 45, so about 20, 22 pounds. So that's nothing, or nothing. less than nothing. Less than nothing. This is half of a 70, so this is about 35. This is nothing. That's nothing. This is half of an 80, so about 40. This is baby bear. We're in the Goldilocks territory now. Gotcha. This is baby bear. Baby bear. Now, I, I picked up baby bear, right? Baby bear. You broke it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now this is the world standard blob 50. So now in this gym, this is mama bear. That's mama bear. Because we have something bigger than mama oh, bear, which oh, is oh, 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 bear. My head just went in your Which butt. is blobzilla. Half of a 135. Or half of a 135. And less people. More people walked on the moon than to pick that thing up off the ground. Yeah. Yep. And you've broken it. About six inches. So I have a target um, of May 12th of lifting that. May 12th. May 12th. So that was the, the last day that I trained um, with my brothers in Colorado. So that's kind of a big day. Like yeah. anniversaries and stuff like that are kind of a big day Absolutely. In, in, in my life, in my lifting life, especially there's a couple of big days. And May 12th, was a very emotional day. Um, looking back, like, it was, like, I mean, you'd never see, like, five grown men, like, large, strongest men in the world, not me, but the other guys, um, like, crying, because, like, like our Like, full-blown snot bubbles oh crying. God, it was so bad. Yeah. So, like... Because you build bonds, right? Like They're my brothers. Like, I yeah, spent... Yeah, 100%. I spent... 20, 25 hours a week. I spend more time, more waking hours with those guys than I did with my family. Um, with work and, and my wife being busy in medical school and my daughter's in school and going to bed and stuff like that. I spend more waking hours with my gym crew for, oh, boom! Congratulations. Less than nothing. Baby bear. <laughs> Baby bear. No, but like, it's, it's, you know, spending a lot of time, you know, Blood, bleeding, sweating, crying with these guys, going through the the highest of highs and the lowest of lows over the course of you know ten years, eight, ten years. You Lots know when injuries, I started training, people injuries. thinking their careers over, like yeah. coming back, rehab. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, like, you know, big big wins. You know, world's titles, Arnold Strongman Classic. You know, a bunch of pro cards for my brothers. You know, um, event or uh, local amateur wins. Um, at different shows and America's Strongest Man, you know what I mean, stuff like that. Like, but when it all, when it's over. Oh man, it was like, and it was funny. Like I knew it was going to be emotional, and like Ryan, uh, um, this was uh, 2014, so he had a um, shirt from Worlds from 2013 that he was holding on because I knew I was, I knew I was leaving for a while. Sure. Um, so he held on to this shirt. Take a breath. So Take a breath. Stupid. So stupid. This is this is one of those situations wherever I'm at, uh, where I start taking hard, deep breaths, and I'm like, don't touch me. Don't. Don't touch me. If you touch me, what, what are you doing, Nick? I pull a blob out of your butt. <laughs> but uh, oh, Brian wrote Brian wrote a, a personal message on this shirt, um, and you know, very very personal. Sure. And just like every, you know, like just like this end. You kind of, you know, it wasn't an yeah. end, but it's like just, uh, the end of this one, it didn't, yeah. the group didn't end. Right. Um, but like it our, just changed our, and... our small little family at that point was changing yeah. and everybody felt it. It was, it was, it was, I mean. It, but that's what it's all about. I mean, if you're lifting weights and winning titles is awesome, right. don't get me wrong. Right. But like, you need to build some friendships. You need to build some brotherhood yeah. because guys, time wins. Yeah. Time beats everybody. Your last PR is coming. Yep. Uh, for some of us, it's probably coming sooner than later. Somebody, it might even have already passed and you don't even know it. <laughs> so, it sucks. So when it happens, I mean, you have to be building something else, whether it be a good mindset, a good mm -hmm. positive mindset, making friends, doing wow. other things with this, using this as the vehicle. That's the only way that you're gonna be successful in this. Because if you're like 30 years old and you're not itching at a world championship, uh, the chance of that actually happening are, are pretty slim just because time you're, you're behind the ball yeah, yeah. so um, if you are at a later stage of your training career you gotta you gotta have fun you gotta enjoy the journey because right. the journey is all that there is whether you win or lose no one cares your mom might care mm -hmm. that's about it you care none of your friends look you any differently if you right. win or you lose man everyone's just happy for you you be happy right do what you do and just like Andy said you make some brothers you have some experiences that you carry the rest of your life and that is what you gain. Yeah, you have you you have 
you, it's almost like you get to the point to where you do a lot of introspective stuff. Um, like personally, I have this streak of pulling 600 at least once a month since November of 2016. So what are we like, 16, 17 months in? So like personally, like I gotta push to make sure that happens every month because when that doesn't happen, I don't know if it'll happen again. Right. And same thing, I pull 600 every year since 2009. So what is that, 10 years, I guess? Um, so like to make sure that happens every calendar year, doesn't matter to anybody else but me. Like, oh, hey, I, I did, like I had this long-term goal for myself. And you know, the guys around me care about it. I care about it, but nobody else does. So you, wow. need, to, you need to do something um, to, to self-motivate, I guess yeah. you could say. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, for sure, brother. Yeah. Yeah.